I'm Rowena from Mick Morgan Next Practice Marketing. So in our quest to basically close the experience gap, we need to start with outputs. And today I'm here to talk to you about the first part of outputs, which is around metrics. So what you've got behind is basically the buckets around key metrics that most organizations look at. The first is shareholder investor return. And that basically is, are we delivering the return that the market is expecting and that we promised? The second gets into a lot more detail because it's looking at the health of the business. And this is often metrics like sales, top line, P&L, you know, what's the profit and loss? What are the cost of goods sold? But it also may get into additional business health metrics, things like our innovation pipeline, how many um, new initiatives have we brought to market? How many have succeeded above their estimates? Um, also employee metrics. So are our employees engaged? What's our retention versus turnover? So all of these point to the overall health of the business. And then finally, we have customer experience. Now, for a lot of organisations, they may talk customer first, but they don't have any hard metrics. And hard metrics are absolutely imperative to doing this rather than just talking it. So what are the type of customer experience metrics that actually provide meaningful contribution back to the business health and back to shareholder re investor return? Well, there are two big buckets. The first is around customer feedback and the second is around customer improvement. So if you think of customer feedback, there are a lot of different form, forms that this can come in, whether it's net promoter score, whether it's the smiley faces as you leave a store, whether it's actually following up with existing customers to get more comprehensive feedback. But it's that feedback that helps organisations understand, are we actually doing a good job in customer experience or not? The second is then around improvement. So how do we know that we're fundamentally improving bit by bit, month by month, year by year around our customer experience? And if you think of a lot of new products that come out, you know, think of Apple and the iPhone. Some of those products customers actually can't give feedback on until they've experienced it, which is why improvement and addressing what are the frictions, what are the problems, what are the ways that we can continue to elevate customer experience is an important piece of this. So not just what we do today and how do we improve, but how do we bring new products and services which actually offer automatically a higher level of improvement and satisfaction. So customer experience is an integral part of this. Now, again, you need to be able to explain how customer experience links into business health and links into shareholder investor return. And it absolutely does. That's why so many of those top 500 companies that are now growing are basically very focused on customer experience. But it's not a small and easy thing. It's not one task, it's not one survey, it's not one action plan, it's basically looking at all of these things together and ensuring that these metrics are as important as business health and as important in delivering shareholder investor return. And that's what we actually spend a lot of our time doing, working with individual organisations to understand exactly what this looks like for that organisation and how does it drive this shareholder return. Now if you're challenged with how do I get started, how do I even think about this, then one of the companies we've worked with to help organisations is Qualtrics and I strongly recommend that if you don't know where to start, um, then you can look also at how they measure the experience gap and how they help you get the data you need in your organisation to actually improve. Hi, it's me again. If you enjoyed this video series, then maybe you want to think about coming to one of our training programs because not only do we go into a lot more detail around the frameworks that you've seen, we actually provide live examples, real case studies, 
and role plays so that you actually understand exactly how to do this back in your job. So don't delay, come and join us. We would love to see you there.